Hello and welcome to Christchurch, New Zealand, the country's second largest city as the men's FIH Pro League continues here at the Napuna Wai Hockey Stadium. The hosts are in action in the men's competition as New Zealand take on Great Britain. The penultimate game of both Great Britain and New Zealand here in Christchurch. Great Britain in the red tops, white shorts and red socks get this game underway, attacking the goal to our right-hand side against New Zealand. Again, Rashmir and Ward. Ward, good save from Hayward, plunging away to his right-hand side. Sam Ward, flicked it up and over, and then one up for a little flick of the wrist. Wallace. What a ball. A chance here for Van Rijk. And sliding in on this right-hand side was Calvin. Nurse into the circle, picked up by Calvin, pulls it back, and it's pulled wide by Goodfield. And the interesting thing is, whilst the scoreline is tied as it is, Great Britain are being pushed back occasionally. With the injection of pace, firing it across, and Sam Ward gets the touch. And it's no less than Great Britain deserve. But Leon Hayward beaten for the first time this evening, courtesy of a fast break. Ward now, the right hand castle, here he is. And that's Sam Ward again. Has that taken a deflection off the runner? Because Hayward completely wrong footed. Yeah completely done i mean ward scored in the preceding game against australia through the legs of the goalkeeper oh plenty of time and space here Rashmir Hamid tops it once it's got in as that Rashmir or Bandarak. i think Bandarak might have actually put a hand as in hand on stick and it's hit the back of his knuckles because he feels and he's just said i think it was going wide Rashmir's pushed it past the goalkeeper down the line looking for Wallace. And Wallace dispossesses Panchia into the circle. Here's Bandarak. And there is a fourth goal for Great Britain and a second for Bandarak. And once again, the pressure tells for Great Britain as New Zealand just gift the ball away ever so cheaply in their own half. Good physical forward. And Savage just got his position a little bit off as the ball came in. Here's a chance here for Ward, and Ward scores, and that's his first ever hat-trick for Great Britain. Sam Ward makes it 5-0. Has three hat-tricks for England, but that's his first for Great Britain. Well, that's poor goalkeeping from that angle. Back on the left-hand castle. It goes to Van der Ack. Van der Ack scores, and he also has a hat-trick. I think we... Okay, it's check. This is interesting. Oh, it's mine. it's mine. Gareth, I have advice for you. It has hit the first runner above the knee, so you may restart with a free hit. Hang on. Time's off. Bandarak denied. Three seconds left. Uh, Frank. Now, a chance here for Bandarak. Good save. Oh, Dane Lett. Let and that is off the post. Still the same line up at the top. That's, that's awful from Child. Yeah, but it results in a goal because it just splits the uh, defence of Great Britain. Here we go, Reaper. It does get a little touch on the edge of the circle, and that deflection in. It's unfortunately Goodfield's kind of backing out the way. You've got to almost let that go to your goalkeeper. Body obstruction is a fine line. And it comes to Wall, look at the deflection, and Aubrey's put it into the side. Comes, oh, and Ward denied, and a penalty stroke. It's Bryden again, this time on Waller. I wonder oh, who will take this. Sorry, Charles asking the question because Waller almost throws himself into this. It's a really strange position when he picks it up. 
A chance here for Great Britain and Zach Wallace. And Zach Wallace makes it 6 1. Banderak. Good save. Good field. Still there. Across the face of goal. And Shipley can't get the touch. And there is the final Huja. And Great Britain continue their excellent form in the Pro League this season. Another win for them, taking them to second in the table. Final score in Christchurch. New Zealand 1, Great Britain 6.